Hey guys, so this is uh, our 7.5 graphing rational functions. The build up to this point is pretty much all we've done in unit 7 because we're headed toward the end of the unit here uh, with 7.5. But the first two examples will be things that you've seen. Then we'll get into slant asymptotes and M behavior and then um, identifying at the very end. So this will be the part one video where we have two that are somewhat review and then the slant asymptote. So let's jump right in. So for the review, we're looking at our y-intercept and we go down our uh, y-axis and see that it does not hit anywhere. So then we can safely say there are none. There's nowhere where it's crossing the y-axis. And then with our x, we go across and we see, hey, we do have a point where there is an intersection. So we're working off the graph, we can say one, two, three. So we went left three. So we know that if it's the x-intercept, the y is gonna be zero. So that one is, is basically looking and identifying, so you should be okay there. The removable discontinuity, this is the hole in the graph. Uh, so the hole in the graph, we figured out how to solve for it uh, by utilizing our uh, equation, but if we're looking here, we see, oh, okay, there's a hole in the graph. So there's a, an open circle uh, or a point where the uh, value does not work. So at that point, we are at one, two, three, one, two. So we are at three, two. So we just worked our way uh, over and up just like we've done for a while now with our X and Ys. The vertical asymptote, that's where there's a dotted line uh, running vertically and it runs through the X. Remember with the V here, we would have a V and another V to give us our X. So once we have our X, we see where is it running vertically. The vertical portion of the line in this case is right there and right there is at zero. All right, and then if this is an X, as in the horizontal uh, asymptote, and then the, hor or excuse me, the vertical, then the horizontal asymptote's gotta be our Y. So we go to Y and we see where does it cross? Crosses right there at one. So we see that there is a horizontal asymptote at one. And then when it comes to your all real numbers, except this is kind of the long uh, way that we wrote it where these blanks were the same and we ended at positive infinity, and we started at negative infinity. Uh, so this is the way that you could write it. All, all it's looking for in these blanks that are on the screen is what is the vertical asymptote, so zero, and then what is your RD, and we said just the X part when we were talking about less than 7.2, so just the X part would be three. All right, so that's how we can find uh, all of the components that it's asking for. So this next one is very similar. So I'm going to shift to something new for this video. So the slant asymptote. All right. So for the slant asymptote, what we're looking to see is, is there a location where there are dotted lines, but they're not vertical or horizontal like we've, we've gotten used to. So what we, when, where this happens is if the degree of the numerator is exactly one more than the degree of the denominator. Um, so we worked through all of those uh, in 7.4. So you know, hopefully you're familiar with what we're referring to. But we're going to use long division or synthetic division. So that's something you probably thought, wait, I thought we were done with that stuff. That was way back a long time ago. Um, so why would we use that again? So we'll, we'll show you how it works out. And uh, you know, if you follow along and you remember the synthetic division, then hopefully you'll, you'll be like, oh, yeah, OK, I'm all right. And then your final answer would be written in uh, more of your traditional linear equation uh, style. So let's see what we got here. We've got our x squared plus 4x minus 5. So we see that we have a squared and then a 1. So it is exactly one more degree. So it's one higher. So we know we can uh, look for the potential of a slant asymptote. And then it says to, sorry about that. And then it says to uh, take your um, divisor. So our x plus 1, and we're going to set that equal to 0, so minus 1, and then minus 1. So that means that x equals negative 1. All right, and most of you remember when we were doing synthetic a lot, you didn't even write that step. You just said, oh, it's the opposite sign. And you would write out 
your uh, exterior your divisor. And then we need our coefficients. So there's a 1, a 4, and a negative 5. So here we go through our steps. We bring down, we got our 1, multiply 1 times negative 1. So that's going to give us a negative 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. That's negative 8. For this, we're not going to need to work with the remainder. We're just going to work with our first two in this case. So that would be uh, f of x, or you could say y equals. And we want to know what these are, as in our 1 and our 2. So you started with a degree of 2. So this would just be a degree of 1. And that's a plus 3. So this would be y equals x plus 3. And so it's written in the form of a linear equation. Now, if you're wondering, well, why did we do all that? Well, what you'd be looking at here is you'd start at 1, 2, 3. And then we'd go up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, down 1, down 1, left 1, all right, kind of like that. And then this would be your slant asymptote or your dotted line there, all right? And if you were trying to figure out, well, what's my vertical asymptote? Remember, we can take the uh, vertical asymptote and we can do x plus 1 equals 0. Move the 1 over, and we've already done this when we were finding our synthetic, so it's negative 1. So if x is negative 1, then that means that uh, we would go to the negative 1 value and have a vertical asymptote here at negative 1. And so you see how it kind of makes this x shape. So the graph itself would be slanted a bit. All right, so that's how those work. If you want to look at some more, you can go to desmos.com slash calculator and type in. There's an example here that you could look at and see uh, how it shapes out. I would kind of, uh, that's very zoomed in on the picture on the screen, so you may want to uh, zoom out a bit. But uh, we, that's part one of our video.